Now, President Obama, we hear, is preparing executive action on guns today. Tighter regulations are coming, we understand. Proposals should be released today. Keith, you're saying that this, the, what the president's doing, he will become the world's biggest gun salesman if he goes through with it. Is that what you're saying? Oh, absolutely. There's no question. This guy just does not understand what planet he actually lives on. Every time he goes after guns, sales jump, and the profits do too for companies like Smith & Wesson and Sturm Ruger and anybody else that makes firearms. They're going to jump again. Um, so, what do we got? Put those gun stocks back up on the air again, please, because they're slightly down today. Uh, that's a good chart. I mean, <laughs> that's a chart and a half of Smith & Wesson. I just wonder yep. how many more guns can be sold that will put those stocks up yeah. to any plausible degree. Cheryl, I mean... Right, I mean, these are, here's the thing. With this executive action, you know, there's two ways of thinking. There's thinking that this is actually going to hurt gun companies. A little bit of a sell-off today. But on the other side, and what I think is more likely is, Stuart, we're going to see more a pickup in gun sales. A pickup. If these executive oh, yeah. actions, as we believe, are going to be announced this week by the president. So those stocks are stocks to watch, but they might be buying opportunities today. Your, your question was, have we already sold enough guns? Is there more of a market out yeah, there? I there mean, is a market out there. Absolutely. Well, look, 2.2 million gun permit applications between the day after Thanksgiving and Christmas Eve. 2.2 million. Yep. Correct. Is there room for any much more? Absolutely. I mean, absolutely there is. No, there is. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. absolutely. That's my point absolutely. about those stocks today. <laughs> I, my, again, my bet, those stocks do not end yeah. the day lower. I bet you they end up higher. Okay, um, Sturm Ruger up 14% since the San Bernardino massacre. 14%. Mm. Smith and Wesson up 19% since the San Bernardino attack. All right.